Today I get inspired by my houseplant and I draw an illustration inspired by it. If you're curious to know what I will do, then continue this video. Hello my friends, how are you? I hope that you feel very nice today and I hope that you feel like uh, you're having a green thumb because today we are talking plants. Plants are always such a great idea to have inside of your room because they make the place so lovely. My plant is this one. Look at her. And she's a begonia maculata. I love her so much that I decided, okay, today I'm taking this and I'm making an illustration about her. This will be my muse. Mm -hmm. Today my plant will be my co-host and we will talk about the illustration together, right? Yahoo! Right. Let's begin the speed paint and while I do that I'm going to show you and tell you more about my plant. Okay, she is called Elizabeth. She's adorable, right? I got her first thing when I came here in the UK and I got inspired for her name, obviously, by the Queen because, of course, in the UK I wanted to make an homage of the old lady of the country and call her Elizabeth. One year after I got her, the queen, so that was fun, but still Elizabeth is very healthy and green still, so I really hope that she will live as long as the queen of this country, because actually she is my first plant. That's a little lie, because it's not my first first plant, but it's the first plant that I actually give a damn about because the first ones that I got were not treated very well and not because I didn't want to treat them well but I just forgot about the fact that they were there Ooh. so this is the first plant that I actually want to give my attention to and I only got one because I want to be very good at it and I don't want to overwhelm myself with other plants so this is my only child look at her she's so pretty right oh my god I can't I got two other plants when I was younger and let's just say that they died <gasps> in one month or something like that okay so the fact is that i was very bad at remembering to water the plants and <sighs> it's not an excuse but it is what it is and so they always died i all <sighs> I always ask myself oh my god why are you so brown and like crunchy why are you not green as plants do but hey you need water to do that i'm so sorry two other plants please forgive me i still think about you <laughs> yeah but they didn't have a name so she is the first one that i gave a name to so this is why i'm also very much attached to her and not the other two but yeah so this is the small little story that i got for uh the plant thing and yeah i just got very inspired by you see the leaves look they are very green and dotted on the front and red on the back and i love it because you can see that I have two colors in my hair too and I love this because she's actually me like if I was a plant she's me oh my god <laughs> so okay this is my child let's talk about the illustration a little bit yeah we are here for that so let's do that I got inspired by the leaves and its colors and it's 
dots so i put this little girl in a very chill and relaxed pose as she usually is because oh my gosh she is so nice like she's such a chill plant like i water her at least two times a week but not too much like a, a tiny drop and she's very content with it she's very green she's very lovely and so yeah uh, i think she likes it so i think that her personality is a little bit easy going and so i tried to replicate that with the pose of the character as you can see i also put two little leaves on the head because it was such an adorable idea to put like you know bunny ears but now it's begonia maculata ears oh adorable and so you can see that i did also on her hair the flowers that she actually does and they are white and very lovely and if you look at them with the good light they sparkle so much so i of course needed to do that inside of my drawing another thing the hair is like mine you can see it's like mine but with the red underneath it good touch yeah and i also added a ladybug because i wanted to add an animal that has dots all over it so i drew this also because it has a red shell and so it goes very well with the plants colors yeah so i thought that the ladybug would look very great in this composition and yeah let me know what you think about it but I think that the red always complements the green in a very lovely way. And so you can see that I played quite a lot with the dot theme and I put it also on the background with green dots that I don't know what they are, but they looked cool. So always put cool stuff in your illustration, guys. Yeah. The last thing that I added is a soft yellow light because apparently she really doesn't like super straightforward lights but she likes softer lights on her not direct she likes the indirect kind of light so i wanted to put that also in the illustration so you can see a light but it's not too much but it's still a little bit because she's still a plant and she needs that so hmm? This illustration took me around one hour and a half to do. The quickest part is always the sketch slash base that I do and then the rendering is the most time consuming thing. Still is my favorite part of the illustration because you can totally see the illustration coming up very well all together and so yeah the rendering part is very good to concentrate on but yeah but yeah this is the finished piece let me know what do you think i think that it looks very much like my elizabeth so mm, i hope that you like it i did such big eyes that's so adorable what do you think do you think that it resembles my plans look <gasps> look huh? If you look them side to side, you can see. Uh -huh. Do they look alike? Yeah? No? Uh, I tried. <laughs> Leave me your opinions of my plant, Elizabeth, and my other plant, Elizabeth, but illustrated version. Let me know your comments, your opinions, your thoughts in the comments. And so the video is finished for today. Thank you so much for giving me your most precious coin, your tank coin. And I will see you in the next video, right? Uh, I'm going to do that like this. <laughs> right? Bye-bye! <laughs> Look at her. She's giant and she will become like a giant plant. And she will become like super big that this vase won't be enough i love that though but yeah please do not get too big because my room is small <sighs> okay do what you want oh my god no need to get angry <laughs> spotlight on the plant hello this is me the plant that is 
drawn onto the illustration. Ouch. <laughs> Ah, she's so cute.